In today's video, I am going to be talking about what I think is going to be the future of the basketball offense. Now, when it comes to offense in basketball and even defense, we're seeing more and more positionless basketball. That basically means that a player can play pretty much any position. We are really, really starting to see this in the NBA, especially when it comes to the Golden State Warriors as well as the Toronto Raptors. And both of these teams are outperforming most expectations which especially the Golden State Warriors especially the Golden State Warriors they are really playing positionless they're playing a four out and occasionally a five out offense same as the Toronto Raptors and that is what I think is going to be the future of basketball especially when it comes down to the high school level not every team is going to have a 7-footer. Not every single team is going to have a 6'6 guy. Some teams may have the, their tallest player being 6'3 or even 6'4. And if that's the case, then you would be really starting to look at a positionless offense. And that's what I'm going to go over today. So first is going to be the five out offense that I'm going to talk about. And basically you can have this set up pretty much any way. You don't necessarily have to have your so-called bigs at the wings. You could easily have them down in the corners. It doesn't necessarily matter, but what does matter is they need to be spaced out. One of the biggest mistakes that I keep on seeing with the team that I coach is that sometimes these corner players will kind of clog up the wings. You need to continue to remind them to get down into the corners because at that point you really want to have spacing depending on what's going on when it comes to the defense. Now if you really want to run that 5-out offense, make sure to check out my complete guide to the 5-out basketball offense down in the description below. However, some of the most basic plays that you could run with the 5-out offense is a pass and cut, where you would pass that ball and then cut towards the basket. And at this point, you would have players 2 and 4, they would be filling those spots, and player 1 would then be filling out. You could also do pass and screen for the player you pass to, in which case there would be the use of that screen. Player 3 would then roll towards the basket, 4 and 1 would then replace, and then you can also pass and screen away, and at that point player 5 would be filling that spot, player 2 would be filling there. However, you could get even more advanced. For example, you could say every time that a player passes one player to their right or left wherever they pass to needs to go and screen for somebody so for example player four could pass to player one and then player five could actually set a screen for player four where then he cuts towards the rim very similar to a blind pig style play where player four would then go in for that layup you could even have player four pass to player one Player 5 screens away, player 4 screens away, this is what we call a staggered screen, and player 2 could then fill for that 3 point shot. We could even have player 4 roll and he would have the option to pass to player 4 rolling towards the basket. There are so many options that you can have in the 5 out that can still incorporate paint touches so that you can collapse the defense. And if you're playing up against a zone defense, that is definitely a, a strategy that works extremely well. And that is to get that ball into the paint so that you can kick it out and swing. And that's going to allow you to create a lot of offense and a lot of open threes or even lanes to the basket. You could even run a four out. This is another play that's very similar or very, very popular when it comes to position this basketball where player five basically screens for whoever gets past two or whoever does the passing this is a very easy and simple four out where essentially what we would do is have player one pass to player four and let's say we're saying well player five needs to screen for the player who passes well then at that point player five would set a back screen player one would cut towards the basket and player two would then fill player three would fill and player one would fill out if he wasn't open for a layup now if player 
4 was to pass to player 2, we would then have player 5 set that screen for player 4, and player 4 would then cut across the key and maybe open for a layup once again, or potentially a help side defender coming down. Let's say there was a help side defender who popped over, then he could kick out for an open 3. This is a very simple and basic and easy offense, but you can create a lot of touches and a lot of 3 point shots or even layups off of this this style of offense. It's super simple to run with even the most beginner level high school teams. And if you wanted to really spread the floor, you could even have the players play the corners, player one and two playing deep, deep wings, and then player five playing either the low or high post, and preferably I like to have them start in the low post. And what we would essentially do there is we would have player one pass over to player four, and at that point, we could have player 5 play a uh, screen for the past player. So, for example, player 1 made that pass. He can screen away for player 2. And then at the same time, player 5 would set a screen for player 4. So that when player 4 uses that screen, player 5 would then pop. And player 4 has multiple different options. He could have a help side defender coming down and he could kick for a 3. He may have... A hedging defender who where he could pass out to player five for a three. He may get a couple of dribbles in, and then a help side defender on this side could come out, and he could kick out for a three-point shot here. Or it could be a kick and a swing for another three-point shot. There are so many different options that you can run with this play or this style of play that can get your team easy baskets. And with a positionless team, basically a team who may have players who could play every position or a team that may just not have real centers or may not have a real point guard, you could literally run an offense like this where if you had a team full of small forwards as an example, you would still be able to create a viable offensive strategy around them so that you could even score a ton of points. These are all offenses that doesn't, doesn't need a ton of ball handling skills and doesn't need a ton of center low post post up skills either. So with these two style offenses, I think that they are going to be the future. Make sure to check out my five out complete guide down in the description below and I'll see you guys again next time.